fish in the chute. So we got a call for a razor that has gone off of the side of the road, clear down, it's all smashed up. The pictures look pretty gnarly. I do know the area, and I know that it's gonna be a tight fit to get the wrecker up there to it, but we're gonna try. We are in the Freightliner, we got the wrecker on the back. Oh look, we got Peanut and Lady. Yeah, Peanut, I got in trouble for not introducing you properly a couple videos ago. We are being followed by Hefe in the Bronco. We're just following Matt wherever that takes us. And Jamie in the rental Jeep. This is somewhere I've never been, so it'll be fun. We got Tom over here. I didn't even introduce, I introduced the dogs this the time, dog Tom. Not but we caught it. It's a beautiful morning, like 50 degrees. We'll get them out. Okay, we unloading here. Yep, I think this is as far as we want to go. What a dusty mess. We got radios today. We're like professionals, but not exactly like professionals. So we're unloaded. We're going to head up here. We're driving to the other side of that point right there. This is Little Creek Mountain. I call it Little Creek Mesa when I was a kid, but everybody's changed it to Little Creek Mountain, which it's technically a mesa. It was a failed venture to make an epic golf course. I think it would have been awesome other than the Nats. Yeah, it never happened, so it's kind of a sad story, but a cool place. So Matt and I actually went golfing this last weekend. Yeah, we did. For our first time ever, which was pretty awesome. If you were to describe me as a golfer, it would be technically accurate. GPS is showing we got 1.2 miles and it's gonna get a little rough from here. It looks like it's gonna get narrow really fast. You, you've been up this trail before? Yeah, so about six years ago, so before we ever did any filming for YouTube, we did a van up here. I'm gonna see if I can find that picture. Hey, it'll be evidence that we don't set these up, possibly, because it sets a precedent that there's something super crazy that we didn't use for YouTube. You but know, now we're going to put it on YouTube. Yeah. So. so maybe I was just planning ahead. Yeah, years ago. This is cool road. It's steep. Yeah, it goes clear up on top. It was closed for a while. That's why I, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know. Well, it's steep, rocky, and some really cool switchbacks. Both of these rigs back here have 37 inch tires. So I'm gonna go back and make them feel bad about it. Just coming to check to make sure you guys are able to make it on your little 37 inch tires. <laughs> well, we're at 36 PSI, so we're like, boing, boing. All right, let's go see how these guys are doing on their dinky little 37. Just coming back to check on you with your dinky little 37s to see if they're gonna make hey, it. Hey, we're playing the two wheel drive game, so we're still in two wheel drive. Oh, all right. You're doing very well then. Hefe, are you in four wheel drive already? Yeah, I'm in four low. We're in two. We wanted to see how far we could go. <laughs> well, you beat Hefe. Hefe, you lost. So I believe this is the spot right here where the van was crossed up. Like I said, I'm gonna try to find that picture and show you. I think the razor is up above us somewhere. Oh yeah, there's the pin right there. That means the razor is up, up in this. And we're gonna switch back up above it? Yeah. Okay, all right. I just spotted it. See him up there? Straight up. Oh yeah, top's the best. Wow. So that's pretty far away. He is up there and it's gonna be a big long pole to get it back up to the top of the road. How much further 
do we gotta go? Okay. All right. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. Right. Mm hmm. It's gonna be mm -hmm. fun. Mm hmm. All right. This is gonna be a skinny right here. going to go up ahead and see if we can find it to figure out how far they need to drive up this road. All right, we've determined that bringing these two rigs any farther up probably isn't needful and it may cause more problems than it's worth. Also, <laughs> if somebody's coming up, they'll be like, oh, we're not blocked and then they'll be sad up there a little further. All right, I don't think the wrecker is going to get past this point because this overhang is going to get him too far up the side of the road. But we can see the vehicle from here, so we should be able to grab it and pull it diagonally up this. get past that and you can't get turned around. Well, you get past it, but I think you're going to go down. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> this is crazy. This you should be worried about. I'm but never worried. I don't think you need to get past it, though, because I think you can pull it from here. Oh, yeah, this is the best spot. So I got a little cocky. Greg comes down and says, you're not going to make it around this corner. And I told him my favorite thing to hear was, you're not going to make it. But you're not going to make it. <laughs> We're not gonna make it. Holy no! No, we're not gonna make it. That's too bad because there's a good turnaround. We're there. not gonna make it. Everybody. Anymore. Anymore. <laughs> I hope he wasn't in it because that would have been a gnarly ride. I don't think he'd be alive if he was in it. No one was in it. Oh, that's okay. good. There could be a gap between the rocks and there could be a gap to the right of the rocks. Yeah. We'd have to go back and look at it. So this is my line. I don't want my back, I want my back wheels axle center line with that. I don't want to be any further back than that. We are going to be doing some over. But we don't even know. I'm going to hike down there and look at it and then I'm going to see if there's a path down to the road because if gravity was our friend, that would be helpful. We yeah. could use some friends today. Yeah. All right. Who's hiking with me? Is its wheels intact, Pepe? If it has steering and brakes, picking a way down might be the way. We could snag block off of that tree and pull this down. Pull that down and swing it around? Swing it around. We, but we don't want to... If we can get it here, it doesn't matter if it's upside down or... We can now rotate it and get it on its back wheels and then it will it will go through this it will be terrible but it will go through this i think that's our best bet get it to right here Woo! you want to know the sad thing this isn't the last time we're gonna have to climb up this <laughs> you guys are doing great welcome welcome oh man getting too old for this so here's the plan we're gonna divide into three teams caitlin and jamie you're gonna go get water and food and come back. Hefe and I are gonna be the top team and everybody that's down there is the bottom team. I know you guys don't like to listen to me talk when I'm out of breath. We don't have an option. <laughs> Thanks for your patience. Okay, so the plan is we need a snatch block to drag it down and to the north and then spin it around and pull, pull it up backwards because it's got two good back tires, one good front tire. We'll twin line it so we can walk it and we'll get it. And it'll come right up here. And then we can spin it around up here somewhere. We need the really thick three mil trash bags. 
because then we're going to send the team down after everything's done and they can sweep down the mountain and we'll pick them up at the bottom it'll be the last thing we do today okay go ahead go forward okay stop my problem is i don't know which one of these switches does it dig Okay, we are officially sending Team Jamie and Caitlin to get food and water. Well, it sounds good for food. Surprise us. Surprise. <laughs> You're okay, just the bumper. <laughs> Barely got the edge of it. Okay, I think we should make a prediction. How far do you think they'll have that thing moved by the time we get back with food? I'm later. gonna assume that either one have it about halfway up or two decided to go back down to the bottom of the mountain and take it that way. <laughs> halfway would be awesome. So this will be the secondary one that we use. So it does matter if we don't want these crossed ultimately, but at the beginning, you're only going to be using one and this is the more durable rope. So that's the one I want to use first. Okay. So this one will just pull out as far as it is and see how close we are to it when we get there. Okay. You good. Yeah. You want me to delay a little bit? <laughs> um, no, I think the resistance might be good. Might be the right amount. That's good! Okay, Hefe, we need to hook this wrecker up somewhere. Okay. And what I'd like to do is come out of this side, up to a snatch block, up to one of them trees. Okay. And then back down and grab a hold of hold of this somehow okay probably right around right there no we'll do it right around right there and that will keep it from pulling over pulling over right to me okay we're trying to get this radio to tom without dying using some pocket giblets yes okay it's gonna come fast all right don't shake it <laughs> it can't handle shaking I know that now. Well, well, I'd say that was a 50% success. Yeah, I got it halfway here. There's Jamie and Caitlin. They're gonna go to town to get some water and food for us because it looks like this might take a while. We're probably about halfway between the upper road and the lower road where we're sitting here with the razor. So we changed our plan up here. Instead of going all the way up to those trees, we're gonna try and get this around the rock. We're gonna pull this rock out from underneath this bigger rock. <laughs> The rock seems to be holding. Oh yeah. So we're hooking up to the tree as low as we can so that we don't lever it out of the ground as we pull here, but there's only so much we can do. Yeah. I'm gonna start from here. That that arm's totally bent on this side, broken on both bottom side, and this side is cracking. So the A-arm would be lower, but I, I just... I think you're in a stronger place there anyway. I think it's going to come apart if I grab that. Well, they said they're ready for us to pull, but they want to be out of harm's way, so I don't know. I guess we'll let them get out of the way. We've never seen one of these go down a hill. We've always just rescued them, right? Right. <laughs> I am ready. Rope is tight. Well, the wrecker still stayed up here. That's good. So did that, was that success? Did we get it where we want it? Uh, somewhat. It rolled further than we wanted and it's now facing uphill. Okay, we just need to now rig it so that it spins. It's gonna wanna pivot on that right front. I would shackle through that right rear wheel so the wheel can't spin and it'll just drag and pivot. This is holding very well. So if you were ever wondering why we put seven winches on this and two of them were on the side and what are we gonna use those for? 
Well, this is one of the reasons. These side winches, I don't think they're going to be used a lot for like just pulling somebody up the side of the mountain or getting them unstuck. I think a lot of the time they're just going to be used for stabilizing the rig in those situations. But man, when you need them, they're there and they work. Okay, we got our Gatorade and water. Next stop, Domino's. So I'm sure you saw all that, but this thing took a full tumble and landed back on its feet. We're gonna hook up to the back and see if we can spin it around and pull it up backwards because the back wheels are still good, kind of. Okay, I'm clear, you can pull and ready. Still doing good things, we keep pulling. There we go. One thing we got going for us is how high we are above it. Yeah. Okay, that's a good spot right there. Okay, that went really good. We got this thing spun around. It is aimed the right direction. Tom know? Brady, he's the dad on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> Come on, baby! Oh. Whoa. Yeah, pull slack. It's gonna start to move. Yeah, it might roll on us. As we were pulling from the middle, it looked like it wanted to roll. So we're trying to re-rig to one of the sides to see if it'll stay flat as we pull. It's getting that roll. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's getting that rolling motion again. What are you thinking, Tom? You thinking that roll bar up top? Yeah, let's pull a little bit, see what happens. We're hoping this is not worse. It's better. Okay. Yeah, keep going. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hmm, okay, we complicated the situation. All right, Heffy's coming down to also assess. Okay, we think we can roll it over manually and then uh, reassess the rigging. We got the goods. We did that backwards. We said pizza first, but we got this first. Now to go to pizza and we are doing super good on our time. Just that right tire's just digging in. That thing's gonna bounce a little bit and wants you to pull at the same time, so go slow. Okay, we gotta get it around this tree. I don't know if you thought of it, and I don't know if it would help, but if you put the snatch block on the razor and then drag it, you could find any vector you wanted to pull it, and it would double your pulling power. I know it's not double. I can't see what's going down on down there. I'm sure if I was down there, I would have a better, clearer picture of what's going on. Don't know if I would be doing it any different or better than what they're doing, but I'm just shouting out ideas from up here as they come to my mind, because I'm not going to hike down there. We got the pizza. Our tasks in town are completed. Yes. Um, what time is it? It's almost one o'clock. It's 12.49, so. Okay, 40 minutes to get back to them with the pizza. I think we have plenty of time. We did good. I hope they've made some progress. So we're changing okay. things up here a little bit. We have the snatch block now actually by the, on the razor. We're gonna run this back up to the rock. Get a little um, bit. I think there's enough here to do it. We'll get more of an angle, pull it back over here. Problem is, is there's a hole on the other side of this tree before it goes up those rocks. So if we get it stuck down there, it's gonna just double our workload. So if Tom has a good feeling, Hefe is a, uh, it's maybe a little test. more skeptical. We're gonna, We're gonna learn a little bit from this, right? Another there. trial and another error, maybe. Uh, At least it's coming this way. It's looking good, keep it. Stop. Okay, stop. We need to pull it by that tire. Okay, start pulling in. Can we go over? I don't think we're at enough of an angle. It's possible. Tell him to pull a little bit more. Yeah. Yep, keep going. Be nice if that tire goes right up on that rock, huh? It's going. Okay, stop. I'm gonna hook from that center toe point. Okay, okay let him out. We better stop. It's gonna pop the tire off. We need to try and get it to move forward. They're gonna assess. Oh my gosh. 
We made it. Are you guys a sight for sore eyes? <laughs> That's a long walk. It looks like it. I'm out of breath. I came here to help you here. Let's switch. Although I don't think that weight was making that much of a difference. Babe. I just wanted this. Looking real good. Okay, that new angle worked and we got a much better line. It took it off the tree. Now we're making some progress going uphill. We thought, we predicted that you'd have the razor halfway in the halfway point. Oh, we're halfway by you now. You are not. Yes, we're easily no. halfway up. Caitlin, are they halfway? I don't know. It doesn't look it, like it. Looks it looks like it's in the same spot as it was. No, before. we've moved it over. We moved it down 70 feet, over 50 feet, and up 40 feet. <laughs> which is what we needed to do. Yeah, this is going well. This is what we've been wanting the whole time. Go over it? Yep. We have a good stopping point up here. We should in about another five feet. So these guys are down there taking their sweet time. The food's here. We're starving. I know I know they're starving, but I'm thinking about radio and then tell them that the dogs knocked all the pizzas face down on the ground and they ate the chicken wings. <laughs> Okay. I don't think they're in any mood for. <laughs> they're not going to believe you. For trivial jokes. No, nope. nope. I my job is to boost the morale of my men, inspire them. What about those that are up here? <laughs> Our, we're boosted, but we need some food. Come out, let it out again. Let's see if you're stopping a little bit farther forward. Yep, right it's on the A. Okay, right there. It's oh, it's, oh. it's uh, I think it's going to hold. I think we get two ropes on it. We need to get that other line hooked up to this. Okay. Wish you dogs were good enough to take this down. Tom, here, here comes this one. Watch out, Jimmy. We just barely held this in place. Well, we got a solid line hooked up. Now, it can't roll back down the hill. And now we can sit here and pull it back in and out. Jefe. Do you guys want to stop right now and eat some lunch? We're rolling right now. Okay, are we ready to start pulling? His line is pretty good right there. I think the back left, the driver will fly. I think so too, I think he'll drive right up it. He's got a really good line, just keep working it back and forth. Keep walking it up. The A-arm is caught. Um, let's keep trying the driver's side and see if it works loose. Okay, came up over it. That was perfect. Keep walking. We just popped this tire. This is working front really one. good. Although we did just pop a front tire, um, but I'm not worried about it. Me too. It's going to take a little pressure. This A-arm is going to snag for a second, but keep moving. Good. I was able to pivot it. You almost killed that thing. Who did? You. You had to jump out of the way. Look. up here you know just hungry I hear ya man about took me out I'm good I ducked <laughs> I don't want to get underneath that thing I'll just need to go to the other side. Yeah, just like that. Now, driver. You guys want to come up? Yeah. Okay, come up. So we held a vote and the group decided it is lunchtime at 2.53 in the p.m. 
This Watch. is going to be amazing. Well, look who showed up right when it's lunchtime. But we're putting you to work in a minute. You're going to be hiking down this mountain with a trash bag, picking up every piece of debris. I'm going to start walking the dog. Gotta be really far outside. It, it might be just on the spokes Spoke of the wheel. Again? Yeah. Yeah. Not like hold up, hold up. I want to try something. Right. I'm afraid if we just drive sideways, this is just gonna start tumbling like that. What if we use this one back up here? Some snatch button. Grab that snatch button. Let's do this. I don't know. A thing up there. Yeah, there we go. No, we need a soft tackle. Okay. Well, that's good. There you go. Okay, just stand clear of all this stuff, guys. The rock's moving. Well, this would work if this would work. This is the hardest part because we don't have anything this way that can pick this up. That's what the Bronco was supposed to be for. Yeah, you want to back the Bronco right there? No, thank you. Just keep enough pressure on that to kind of drag it up. I think it's going to drag up. I'm going to pull forward. Scale of one to ten, how nervous? I'm a four or five. That's not too nervous. No, no. We All I have to do is hit the out button and he's got to drive. What could go wrong? Um, both of those there <laughs> with that boulder. Oh wow, look at that. I can't believe this thing's working. It's working like a champ. We're almost up. I think if we went up and over or up to the A-frame, it would just pull it up. Winches? No, not yet. Let's hook this one up higher. Hook me up in that Y up there on the B pillar. Yeah. If there's hey. air left in that tire, it's gone now. Here's one of the problems here. We're wrapped under. Yeah, so let's do this. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go out on this one and we're gonna grab A pillar. Okay. Oh okay. yeah, we should have put that on so frustrating. You know what? Let's well, snatch yeah, blocks yeah, let's out. Go let's go high. Oh, we're still shifting. Hurry, whatever we're gonna do. Are we on the road? We are on the road. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna pull down there to where it's flat. We need to do a weld repair so we can flip this around. While we're doing that, like let's break into two teams, the welding team and the cleanup team. And then we need to get organized on who's walking down and grabbing crap. <laughs> I think the mirror's gonna make it. Am I sliding off them rocks? No, you're climbing them. Put another one. 
one there. So that it'll drive up on it. Okay, you good? Yep. Congratulations. Did we? Mostly. Mostly. Okay, the mirror off. still works. Gonna drop Drums here, go off. slow. Not too bad, actually. One line right now. He's only got his driver's line. He's got both back lines. It's this line that broke. What one broke? You lost, uh, the you side lost winch. The shackle on the side winch. Oh, that's okay. Whew. So we're gonna get this welded back together so that we can spin it around and tow it out of here. Think that's strong enough? No. I don't know. It's been pretty good right there, but it's under, it's under tension. That'll help. Yeah. So now I'm just going to reposition the wrecker to where I can pick up the front right here, spin this around, and we're going to drive off this mountain. It'll be just that easy. See if this will ride out of here. We, I, need to pick up. Nope. we, got, we got it all. It's working. Kind of on the side of it. There you go. Ports over. Okay, I, I feel like this is like, boom, like we're over. It's all downhill from here. Literally. Yeah. Without rear steer, it would be a, it would be like a showpiece. It'd be a parade vehicle. Oh, it wouldn't do this kind of stuff. Well, I almost rolled down the hill. So while I was swapping batteries, their weld broke. That piece is kinked like the other side, and as soon as we started driving, it pulled straight, and then it's just working back and forth. That is one of the problems with welding chromoly. There's a little hook. Right, there's a hole in there. Right there. Can to bend that tip to get in it? You could blow a hole in it. And then you hook on. But this goes in. It's easy to blow here. a hole in blow a hole in it. There's a flaming hole. I don't know if this is gonna last. Jobs like this are just exhausting. They're they're emotionally, mentally, physically, you're just pretty much wiped out after a day like this. I do really love this, like this is what I live for. But it's I get it might be like other things, like I don't know, playing football or something. I've never played football, I don't know. But you enjoy it, but when you're done, you're just wiped out. We've still got a little ways to go. Hopefully that last fix on the rear axle holds. We gotta load the trailer. We gotta get down to the trailer and we gotta head home. So the back axle's compromised, but we're kinda done with the hard stuff. It's sort of just a dirt road from here. It's a lot of trash. I'm glad they were on the road or I would have forgot about them. Hey, yeah, stop right there, Matt. Let's throw us in. All right. I guess we got all the trash in here. That was 
Is it looking okay? Yeah, yeah. it was rolling. That's good a good sound. Good Peanut, go load up. That was a big day. A big thanks to my crew. They worked their guts out today. We got this off the mountain. We're going to take it back to the yard. The customer's going to pick it up. And then, thanks for watching. There's a chance we'll be at the emergency room yet. <laughs> I have four boys, so the emergency room is kind of like a place we go every so often. Do you guys have okay. a punch card or something? <clears throat> Tenth one is free. All right.